Jam, jam. TNA is pushing and pony, and that one's titled mm. Umona. Absolute jam right there. Mm -hmm. Yo, yeah, we might not be able to guarantee much, but when it comes to keeping you entertained, now that's our forte, okay? Tell them. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> two hours of a solid show every single day of the week is the premise, and today would be no different. Yes, yeah, so we thank you for joining us for this special Wednesday edition of the show, where it's all about good music and good vibes all the way to 2 p.m. Now, my name is Amanda Dara, and you, my friend, can call me Dara today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm tired, please. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, my name doesn't change. This is Royal Highness and this planet. I go by the name King OJ. Boy, you can call me OJ. That's what it is. It, it is, is what, what it is. is. All right, guys, my name is Fala Dele, and as always, welcome oh, aboard. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's get right into what we have for you today. So first up, we'll bring you up to speed with some entertainment news stories. Yes, and then we'll take some celebrity birthday shout outs. Then we'll re 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 rewind to this day in entertainment history. And of course, there'll be Woman Crush Wednesday, where we'll tell you who we are crushing on today. Then of course, there'll be Tweetville, where OJ got us covered with today's laughs. And of course, today's Daily Top 5, we'll be talking about five female empowerment songs. Mm. Yes, later on, we'll True it off. Then we'll bring you the entertainment news recap and finally we wrap things up in a huge way as usual with the East Splash Top 10. Yeah. All right, so we are ready, but are you though? That's the big question, guys. <laughs> if it's a yes, then let's go already. We'll see you guys after this short timeout, okay? Hey. 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 Right hey. 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 jam right there. Hey jam. Hey jam right there. Hey. Yeah, you just checked out that one by Hot Kid with Ozana. <laughs> and it is now time for entertainment news. Ooh, All right, now we're starting with this one. Coachella is reportedly postponed till October. Hmm. One of the world's largest music festivals, the Coachella Festival, which is scheduled to take place next month, has been postponed to October over the spread of the coronavirus outbreak. According to the Riverside County Department of Public Health, there are three new cases of coronavirus already confirmed in the Coachella Valley region in California, hence the festival being postponed by further six months due to the health hazard. Coachella draws about 250,000 people over two weeks and this year's event is to be headlined by Rage Against the Machine, Frank Ocean, Travis Scott and others. Just so you know, a date change for the Coachella Festival will follow last week's cancellation of South by Southwest in Texas. Ooh. So, um, I like it. I like it. We talk a lot about, hmm. it's interesting that we say that sometimes the response can be slow here in Nigeria to, you know, um, keeping stuff contained yeah. and stuff. Mm -hmm. But even, but even Nigeria, it feels like we're also trying to make efforts to, you know, kind of contain yeah. um, um, coronavirus. And it's so nice. Like, I'm not surprised that this is happening. It's just crazy because it's such a big event that, yeah. and you know, when they plan stuff every year, you know that yeah. for sure every year it happens. But it's nice that, look, there are going to be so many people all over um, the, the, the South Americas, all over the Americas, all over the world trying to come together and it's just safe and it's best to do this. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of things are getting cancelled as well. I was asking OJ because I heard something about EPL being cancelled, um, some matches, but he was telling me that what they're doing is they're just taking fans out of it just and so they're just playing without your fans. Because so they're close contact, you know, yeah. so they're just playing alone without any yeah, fans cheering. <laughs> to be honest, I think um, our health is more important mm -hmm. than any kind of entertainment that we're trying to receive yeah. and I'm happy that Coach is also being is taking precautions because at the end of the day if they held the concert and some there was a spread they would have been sued or something would have happened to them and I just feel like even in churches in Italy uh, the masses you yeah. know there's huge space oh, between yeah. them oh, yeah. even in Japan in China is affecting the economy mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. even the dip in movies mm -hmm. people are no longer going to the cinemas because mm -hmm. of close contact. Movie premieres have been postponed yeah. we talked James about um, the James Bond sequel last week yeah so it's good and it's it's the best way to handle it and I really hope that here in Nigeria, we also keep taking precautions. So rather than just panic, actually make moves to, yeah, keep mm -hmm. it contained. So fantastic one right there. And if you, if, you, if you mustn't travel, don't travel. Yeah, like just around this period. Like and um, another thing that helps is mm. stockpile your groceries. So buy stuff for like a month or two in advance so that the, you reduce having to go outside and all that. Yeah, yeah. just yeah. stay safe, all right? All right, guys, um, next story right here on the news. Harvey Weinstein wants mercy from the judge. Embattled filmmaker Harvey Weinstein is seeking mercy ahead of his rape sentencing as his lawyers are seeking 
asking for a five-year prison term. <laughs> Harvey Weinstein, who was last month convicted on two out of five counts of criminal sexual act in the first degree and rape in the third degree, is expected to face almost 29 years behind bars. According to legal documents filed by Weinstein's lawyers, they are citing his charitable contributions and his accomplishments in the movie world, stating that he is already suffering from a historic fall from grace and serious health issues. The document further stated that the grave reality is that Mr. Weinstein may not even outlive the term, making it a de facto life sentence. Well, we will be keeping our eyes on this story to see if Weinstein's sentence will be reduced. And I'm sure the whole of the black community, the entire black community, not will be keeping this. their eyes on this, on this story as well. Because, I mean, we saw how Bill Cosby's yeah. story played out. And it was quite similar um, to this because a lot of women also came out in Harvey Weinstein's case. Mm -hmm. And, of course, people have been watching this with keen eyes because we know how it goes when it's a black person versus yeah. a white person. Yeah. And so we want to see how justice is served. Mm. And I really hope... What, what, what if it's a case? What if it's a case of his lawyers are better than that, that of Bill Cosby, and they mm. probably you have the a right, point. Right, you have a point because um, I was actually reading the fact where he they were quoting him saying, "I have lost my daughters, lost I have everything. lost my family, I've lost everything. Um, I'm contemplating suicide because this is happening to me." So he was really playing on the pity card compared to and Bill Cosby, who is even still tweeting from jail. Yeah, mm. and I think they even brought up a health thing with Bill Cosby at some point, but. That that didn't go life. far. It I mean, he's life. older. Bill Cosby is older, and like, I, well, I think I think his lawyers need to be careful though, because he's trying to even drag in the CEO yes. of Apple. Uh, he's trying to drag in Netflix, yeah. um, San um, Sandranos, and the rest of them. Yeah. He's trying to get them to plea for him. He's even saying, "I don't even need you guys to make public statements. I'm just saying that if you can send a private email mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. to these certain people." So I feel like they need to be very careful, especially yeah. because it's going to be really messy if they get involved. But so far, there haven't been any responses from them. And, and honestly, black people are not going to listen yeah. to this story of. His lawyers, lawyers are good. Lawyers good at the end that. of the day, yes, because you might feel like ah, he's accused of rape. How can you have a lawyer? But lawyers are lawyers. They will defend you whether or not you have a case. It's their job That's to do their that. Job. Yes. However, I don't think the black community is going to find it funny if it, it truly turns out that maybe his lawyers are good. And, yeah, from 29 to 5, man. I don't know, man. I don't know. Because a lot of people have come out to speak up. A lot of people in Hollywood have come out to speak up against him. And then to now go from 29 to 5, what are we saying? That's Please, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. But we'll definitely keep looking crossed. out and see how it goes. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Moving on to the next story. John Boyega is set to produce Western is African films. Hmm. Yes, UK-based film production company, Hopper Room Production, owned by British Nigeria Hollywood star John Boyega, has signed a film development deal with US streaming platform okay. Netflix. The deal is expected to last several years with a focus on the production of non-English language films from West and East Africa. Upper Room will source its content from African intellectual properties, some of which include literary works, African mythology and Nollywood classics. Confirming the report, John Boyega took to his Twitter page to state, I am thrilled to announce that my production company, Upper Room Productions, will be partnering with Netflix International to develop a slate of non-English future films. Speaking on the new New Deal Netflix Vice President of International Film David Koss stated, Africa has a rich history in storytelling and for Netflix, this partnership with John and Upper Room presents an opportunity to further our investment in the continent while bringing unique African stories to our members both in Africa and around the world. This announcement is the latest sign indicating that Netflix is interested in the original African context I am content after its recent launch of Netflix Niger, which will produce their first original Nigerian series. <laughs> so, a, a good one. Yeah, I have mixed so feelings way, about yeah. this. I'm so going to take way, it to Amanda way, shortly. Yeah, so, so, the way everybody's concentrating on Afrobeat music wise now. Mm -hmm. So, these people are coming back. Yeah. So, we've always been movie. saying this thing about we have a whole lot of story mm -hmm. in Africa. Mm -hmm. But it's always when you talk to producers, directors, the struggles to shoot our content. Yeah. Yeah. Now, these people are coming here so. to take our content, <laughs> to shoot our content why for yeah, us. Why? Well, let me make up room with Amanda. Mm. And Amanda is like, Hmm, I don't know. I feel like he's exploiting. So Amanda, just and yeah, tell you us know what? what? You really As know I, what I said, yeah. I have mixed feelings about this. You know, the first time John Boyega came to Nigeria, and you know, yeah, we Pacific heard about Rim. Pacific Rim and every, everything. Everybody was excited. Oh my gosh, he's coming back to Nigeria. Nigeria. And now, when Netflix came to Nigeria, I was excited because, as we always say, there's so many Nigerian and African stories to tell. Now, I have mixed feelings because I do sense a bit of exploitation here. 
<laughs> where we have a lot of local producers. Uh, I don't even want to use the word local. Indigenous yes. producers, indigenous directors, indigenous content providers that could partner with Netflix. And I, I hope that the same opportunity is given to them like it's given oh, to John board. Boyega. Because if he's getting permission to use our African stories, our African literacy and all of that, I don't know. As I said, it's mixed feelings. At the end of the day, <sighs> you're still putting Nigeria on the map, mm -hmm. but the money is going way back to, to the, the US UK. or the UK. Okay. It's business. What are we talking about? It's business, Amanda. I feel like we're insatiable because we talk so much about how, I mean, for years, our Nollywood film producers and um, directors, are not, they've had the chance to make films. And okay. we, yes, I mean, uh, to partner with a huge no, platform. No, no, I, no, what I mean okay. is we've been making films. Fine, we talk about funding and all that. Yeah. But there are people who've been making films. Some mm -hmm. of them have been successful. But a lot of us Nigerians still complain that, oh my gosh, this story is whack. It's oh my not, gosh, the acting is whack. And so someone comes from out there with his international experience and he has a production company and he's like, okay. Let me take by the way, Jamboya guy has been to Nigeria, I think, about three times. Yeah. So I know this is something that he has he's talked about. Planning. Yeah, he's been trying to work on for a while. And so he's saying, look, I want to tell West African stories. I want to tell East African stories. Um, his parents are very in Nigeria, even though he yeah. grew up abroad, so I know that where they are yeah, they do. And one of the premieres they went for, wow. they all what are you guys even talking about? Let me land, Amanda. Let me land, Amanda. <laughs> well, let me land. So, what okay. I mean by that is that I think he's still very connected with his roots and to his roots because he came three times no, to Nigeria. Not that, and because, in Agbada. No, wow. okay, that's not the point. The point is that if you, so, what okay, so yes, let's say because he came three times. There are Nigerians abroad who have never come to Nigeria. Sure. So he's come three times to Nigeria. Um, Anthony Joshua was giving a speech the other day. Talk and about, talked, about, Yeah, the Commonwealth thing. And talked about Nigeria, talked about Yoruba, shouted us out. We talk a lot about how these people go there and they don't rep they us. Forget Someone us. is, yes, he's rapping us. He's coming back and he wants to give Take back into He might use Nigerian actors. He might use West African. That's the African problem. Actors. See, and I said, not. mixed feelings. If he comes and says, okay, now we're open to production. We're sourcing uh, our, let's, our let's actors the, and actresses. Let's, let's use the camera use, guys, yeah. Exactly. Let's use our production companies here based in Maybe Nigeria. Well. Then I'll feel very fantastic about that. It was even the same argument yeah. with Lupita uh, yeah, when yeah, we're yeah. talking Americana. about Americana and why they had to bring Lupita that to now learn Igbo here. Mm -hmm. As I said, it, it, on one angle, it's like, oh, you're putting Nigeria on the map. You're taking us out. You're making us international. On the other side of it, we are so many millions of Nigeria here that still do not have this opportunity. What do these Nigerians want, what? for God's ah, sake? Nigeria. Don't worry, make your money. Just use our actors <laughs> and use our films. Makers, we would appreciate that. Come and make your money, it's business. Moving swiftly along, <laughs> don't mind Amanda. It's time for a celebrity birthday shout out. Yay! All right, number one on the list, Didier Drogba. Yes, he is 42 today. Now, let's get you a bit um, educated, okay? Mm. In case you do not know, which I hope you do, he is an Ivorian retired professional footballer who played as a striker. And not only is he the all-time top scorer and former captain of the Ivory Coast national team, he's also best known for his career Yay! at Chelsea, yeah? where he still holds the title, guys, of the club's fourth highest goal scorer of all time. Yeah! 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 Jogba, you would call him Fam a legend, there. and honestly, you would not yes, be crazy for yes. that. He is so well celebrated. Actually. Till tomorrow, I hear people be like, oh God, if not Jogba did this bitch. Actually. Just <laughs> said, like, if it was Jogba, Jogba would just chest that ball. Yeah. Turn, I think it's just, this striker. Yeah. Did you, I'm any, making OJ's day right did now. You, any day, any time. Happy birthday. Happy Thank birthday. Thank you for all you did for Chelsea Football Club, and thank you for what you still continue to do for yeah. the club, because they're trying to get him um, for a, margin, a managerial role. Okay. So just come through and coach all these strikers and tell them what to do. They are messing up. Would you yeah. rather he be doing what Frank Lampard is doing? Yeah, all these boys are talented now. No, no, no. Not, not what I'm asking you. Not taking you? Lampard's job. Okay, okay. Yeah, probably just by the side or assisting or something. Okay, yeah. all right, yeah. Keep Let's it, leave Lampard for Politically now. correct, all right. Or maybe when answer. Lampard messes up, we'll switch to you. All right, well, <laughs> <laughs> moving on to the next celebrant on the list. Joe Madden is 40 today. Yay! Yes, Joe Madden is the lead vocalist for the American pop um, punk band Good Charlotte, which him and his twin brother are members of, yes. And he's also a record producer, actor, DJ, and UNICEF ambassador. And mm. he's also the husband of um, Nicole Richie. 
Yeah, mm. yeah. That, that's a good yeah. move right there. And he has, he has, um, you know, the the good Charlotte band. Him and Benji, his Perfect. brother. But they don't look very in. punk, yeah. <laughs> punk related. They look very calm and everything. So you reckon? In, when you hear the sound. Yeah, I know. It's just you like. Love the punk <laughs> <laughs> I more of going at some point. Mm. And of course, um, there's an interesting fact about him as well. So he chews uh, toothpicks to re to reduce him having to um, smoke. Like to reduce the frequency, mm. yeah. So mm. rather, yeah. Interesting. Interesting. You guys have learned one or two things. Wow. <laughs> oh, yes, anyway, no happy 40th birthday, Joe Madden. <laughs> Next on the list, Kofi Idowu Noel is 43 today. <laughs> yes, he's better known as Kofi. <laughs> and he's a Nigerian entertainer, comedian, musician, and actor. Yeah, if you're like me and you're like, wait, who is this the only all of a person? I know him as Kofi. Yeah, the, the we comedian. all do know him as yeah, Kofi as yeah. well. And, and he came up with that slang, Spluffy. Yes, he yeah. did. Yeah. And he's, he's been in entertainment for a while, actually. In a um, he was Twilight Zone as well, in with them, Kini and them. Kelly Peters. Yes, and of course, you know, he's gone on to do stuff on stage, comedy, Night of a Thousand Laughs, them, them. It's been, it's been big. Yeah, theater background to them. He yeah. yeah. Everything. <laughs> all right, up next. Next on the list, Latoya Luckett. She's 39 today. Damn. 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 Hey, 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 hey. Apart from being so beautiful, mm -hmm. <laughs> she's an American singer, songwriter, actress, and former member of the R&B girl group, guys. Yep, Destiny's Child, hey, yeah. which she won um, two Grammys with. Yes, she won two Grammy Awards with them. I think she was still with them when they did say my name, say my name. Hey, yeah. yeah. Was it, yeah. <laughs> we'll say Destiny's Child, we'll say Michelle. Michelle, yeah. Beyonce, Kelly. <laughs> she has a solo career now. Latoya has you a can career. imagine. OJ, oh, behave. Mm -hmm. Happy no, birthday no, no. to her. <laughs> Thank you. Beyonce, Amanda. Kelly, oh. Michelle. <laughs> Even Michelle herself, when I know today. Ah! I'm like, moving on to the final. This one has turned to tweet video. Our final celebrity um, that is, you know, that has a birthday today is Terrence Howard. Delicious <laughs> liar. Yeah, apart from having amazing eyes, the American actor, rapper, singer, songwriter, and record producer is 51 today. 51, guys. Wow. And he's had prominent roles in movies like Winnie, Ray, Crash, Big Mama's House, Get Rich or Die Trying, and Iron Man. And uh, he also stars as the lead character, which is Lion, yes, in the television wow. series Empire. Yeah. Lucius Lyon, like he killed that character. I love him or as an actor. Because they're still showing it, so he yeah. keeps killing it. He keeps like, killing yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. He keeps, that's true. Yeah. He's consistently oh, killing it. I mean, I've been following him from, um, you know, Big Mama's house mm -hmm. and from there. He just, his character is very calm. He's, he's the kind of person that enters in the room and you must pay attention to him. And especially Lucius Lyon. Ooh, oh and then God. his eyes. Ooh. <laughs> he's a really good actor. And he has a music career as well, which is yeah. quite interesting. Yeah. True. All right, um, before we move on from our birthdays, this one isn't a celebrity yet, <laughs> but a special birthday shout out to Amina Mohammed. She turns one today, Imuna. and this is coming from her mom, Messi, who works here with us. Aww. Yes. Happy Imuna birthday. Imuna Mohammed. Happy birthday. That's Messi's child. One is such a cute age. <laughs> happy, happy birthday. birthday. <laughs> All right, happy birthday to you out there that is celebrating. We love you, and we're sending you love, light, peace, happiness, and joy. Mwah! Hey! <laughs> Moving on, ladies and gentlemen, up next, I'll rewind at Woman Crush Wednesday. <laughs> Let's rewind. On this day in 1964, the Cardinals Sidney Portier and Leslie Curran win at the 21st Golden Globes. And in 1991, Mel Gibson and Julia Roberts win at the 17th People's Choice Awards. I'm really sorry. Finally, in 1991, still on this day, Janet Jackson signs $40 million three album deal with Virgin Records. And that's it on Rewind. It's Woman Crush Wednesday, and we have chosen to crush it, Natalie Joanne Emmanuel. <music> Natalie is an English actress known for her role as Miss Sunday on the HBO fantasy series Game of Thrones and Ramsey in Furious 7. Natalie, who was born in Southend on Sea Essex, England, to a father of English descent and a mother of Dominican origin, credits her mother for the initial motivation to become an actress. 
At the age of 10, she played young Nala in the West End production of The Lion King, and in 2006, she made her television break by starring as Sasha Valentine in the teen soap opera Holy Oaks, a role she played in 2010. Natalie made her film debut in the thriller 28K before going on to be cast as Miss Sunday, Daenerys Targaryen's translator in HBO's fantasy drama series Game of Thrones. In 2015, Miss Emmanuel was promoted to a regular cast member in the show, and in that same year, she played computer hacker Ramsey in the action film Furious 7 and Harriet in the science fiction adventure Maze Runner The Scotch Trials. For the former, Emmanuel won the Screen Nation Award for Best Film Performance in Film. Now here are five things we did not know about Natalie Emmanuel. Miss Emmanuel is vegan for health reasons. In an interview, she said, I don't trust the food industry. I don't trust what they put in our food. It makes me feel sick, actually. Natalie's mom, at the age of three, enrolled her in acting, singing, and dancing classes so she could channel her drama properly. Way to go, Mama Natalie! She's been nominated for Screen Actors Guild Awards in both 2014 and 2015 for outstanding performance by an ensemble in a drama series in Game of Thrones. Diversity and inclusion are very important to Natalie because they have a huge impact on a young person. FHM Magazine ranked Emmanuel as 75th in their 100 Sexiest Women of 2015. What's not to love about Natalie? Oh my, and that's why she's our women crush for today. Yes, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Right about now, it's time for today's Dose of Laughs on Tweedville. Are you ready? Yes, we are. Okay. Who are these people? <laughs> okay, yes, moving on. So, Bumbleclat, and somebody put um, this battery gauge, and this is battery red. And somebody said, at this battery level, whatever you're doing suddenly becomes very interesting and addictive. I can't relate. True no, or I, false? True. true. That is 100% true. That's why my friend will That's message why. me. That's why my friend will message me and wants to give There's me like one gist. Oh, gist. oh my gosh. Or I'm somebody like, wants to send money to my account and I'm trying to send my account number. That one is the devil. <laughs> that one is not Shadia. That one is the devil. Oh my gosh, but that's the worst. Yes, now. Three zero. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody's on that table so charge your phone oh my goodness yeah there's no there's no electricity there's no electricity, mm. there's no electricity. Mm. Oh. even to even charge the power bank. <laughs> so <laughs> until that put up this post and says my friend has been lying that she knows how to drive <laughs> gave her my car to drive us to get shawarma oh auntie started the car and said to me what should i press it's been long i drove press qua please <laughs> please <laughs> Calm down. See, is it pushed to start? I know what so, is she pressing I know, actually? I know, some, is it, I know somebody she like pressing this. the key? Amanda, <laughs> I know somebody like this. I can't drive, I can't drive. It's been long. So, so um, remind me again. Uh -huh. Where is the accelerator? Hey! You cannot drive. Okay, are you shading someone? <laughs> no. Why are you shading? Let, let us know. Let people move along. I just feel there are people like this. Let people move along in their driving journeys. However, that's taking years. Be what honest if they push about to start it. Car, guys? What okay, if they push to start Look at it. So she wants to Auntie started the car. It's right there. Oh, she and it. said to me, What should I press? And she didn't even say, What should I, I push? She said, What should I press? And it's then it's right there. there. There's push to start. It's there. It's just a button. Like, it's just. It's, you guys, when you guys. There's no, yeah. Auntie Ada, tell your friend I tried, but I couldn't help. Auntie don't give your friend that guy. What should I press? So, okay. So, in my car, you press when you want to change gears. You press the thing by the side. Wow. Of the can drive. Of the gearbox. So you just press but it. you said you can drive. You press it and then it pushes the thing to pee. But and you said you can drive. Now give me your car key. Let's go and buy shower. Leave me alone. I give up. <laughs> <laughs> so Cordell put up this post and he says, Don't tell me happy birthday without perfume. Then Chef Obubu now said, Happy birthday with perfume, dear. Because. <laughs> What, does what, what, my guy, what my guy was saying is that you should get him the perfume. Yeah, like don't just say happy birthday, get me a gift, get me a perfume. And this one's like, oh, okay, we should not say happy birthday with that perfume. Okay. So, happy birthday with perfume, perfume, my dear friend. Where is the perfume? <laughs> is it a smiley? It's in words. It's what? <laughs> yeah. Chef, it's the, the, that's the you are the actual worst. The emoji is the perfume. <laughs> and it's true, it works. Happy birthday with perfume. How would you like I if people it. are buying your food with emoticons? <laughs> say, I want to order that rice, so now put it. Rice. <laughs> 
Wow. wow. Amanda, don't kill me, please. Do not. <laughs> what do we have next? Can, 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 can. Happy birthday, with perfume. That really got me. Like. So, Ebele puts up this post and he says, How did you meet your current partner? Hmm. Story time. And Nef Bender had this to say. All right. How let's did find you out. meet your partner? Bashed my car in Lagos traffic and came out and started pleading. Then we went to a mechanic who said it would cost 400000 to fix it. Wow. So, he just took me to a car dealership and got me a new one. I don't know why you're still reading this because <laughs> none of this ever happened. I'm still single AF. Yeah. Wow. Because I was about to do God when, but I was like, <laughs> let me just wait and see. This is not God when. This is not a, a not a God when. Because, ah, this is a go because wait, 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 people wait, come wait, and bash wait, my car. Wait, if that's the case, wait, you guys, this wait. is not a God when. This is a Tony Ododo is born in situation. Don't you think this when cannot she happen? To, Actually, he took me to go. Nah, fam. It cannot not, happen. No, it can't. Nah, but what do you mean? I know somebody that has the story. Oh, yeah, tell me the story. Should I tell you personally? Mm -hmm. person, no, tell us in real life, like here. Arika has the story. Oh. Okay. No, tell us her story now. She said it. No, we people not yet. No. I, I had, so you thought, are you saying Arika was no, lying? No, no, no. I think she said, no, no. What? I've not even heard the story now. <laughs> the same thing. What? That's, no. Stop. That's how she met Bay. No, but that's how somebody got her. a new car. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Please. Let's just that. move on. You and Arika, both of you are friend boys. As in. <laughs> Things like this happen. It depends on where you are driving. Don't going to be driving in Oshobi. I think this will happen. You have problems. <laughs> Imo Umore put up this post, a fake motivational speaker once said. So are you guys ready to listen? Mm -hmm. Why should you say sir to anybody when you can be a boss of your own? Do you know sir is an acronym for servant I remain? I don't understand. It's motivation. Amanda, are they not telling you ma? Are people not telling you ma? Don't you know that ma is mommy I'm, I'm, always? I'm like, what is going on? Servant I remain. Yes, so a motivational speaker is telling you, don't be, you can, you're a boss on your own. Mm. So you're telling sir to people, good morning, sir. I mean, so you're telling, good morning, sir. Uh, servants, I remain. Good morning, servants, I remain. I mean, they answer them, so, yes, sir. No, so, no, they answer them. So motivational speaker. No, it's too deep. I'm even lost for words. Like, they, come on. Like, are, they, are they doing too much? Yes, too much. Too that much. is too, that is 500% too so much. So motivational come speakers on. do too much. So ah. My guy. If you go and try this in your what office, is wrong with you? If you go and try this in your office and your boss <laughs> that likes, you know there are some people that you have to greet and knock your head on the ground. Wow. If you don't say sir, your head is even flying. They might sack you. <laughs> I'm so done. don't follow these motivational speakers. <laughs> I'm done. Oh. Okay, oh. OJ is done. Oh. Say right. sir. <laughs> sir. Thank you so much, sir, for bringing us that wonderful savagery right there. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll be back to you with daily top five, so stick around for that one. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to the show. I mean, we're having fun up in here, and I'm sure you're having fun at home as well. Now, it is said that women are special beings able to multitask and be women at the same time. And Sunday was dedicated to celebrating them. Now, whether you're looking for some encouragement or you just need to be reminded of the strong and powerful woman that you are, Today, we have some songs that you can go to for inspiration. Let's talk about five female empowerment songs from the foreign scene. This is Daily Top 5! Five. Five, four, three, two, one. I love it. All right, the first one on our list is... Who run the world? Girls. Who run the world? Girls. Yes, by Beyonce. Now the song's title and lyrics hold an unapologetic message promoting female empowerment. Now this powerful high energy anthem by Queen Bey is everything from inspiring to very dancing. Now we can remember lines like, girls, we run this mother. <laughs> Check this out. Okay, well done. Anyway, um, I like I really like the song not just because of the empowerment vibes. Cause yeah. I mean, there were a lot of chicks at the time like girls mm -hmm. like be a lot of people already idolize Beyonce, and so for Beyonce them to the do anthem. exactly yes. and to kind of reinforce that is sorted. But also I remember the dances in the video being mm -hmm. quite like trendy at the mm -hmm. time, and she, they talked about how she got like some South African choreographers yeah. and all that. So she yeah, saw that, some YouTube videos where yeah. she saw the dancers and she was like, I want these guys. I want to mm -hmm. learn this mm -hmm. dance. You know the whole part where she was holding the I think was it a leopard or yeah. something was. So 
so oh, like when you're watching this video, like ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Yes, number two on our list, God is a Woman by Ariana Grande. Yes, Ariana relates women to divinity in this powerful pop banger. When she released the music video, she even dedicated it to a fellow goddess who work every day to break the glass ceiling. This one was controversial mm, yes. and it's still very controversial <laughs> yes. because that. Ariana yeah. just went straight. Yeah. I just said, God is a woman. But Kill why yourself. not? Yeah, yeah as in, you know, you know that, that was actually what it was. <laughs> Kill yourself. Like, he told you God is not yeah. a woman. But she just, God is a woman. Oh yeah, finish it. Like, <laughs> Table broken. Like, I absolutely love the video. Yeah. I love the uh, the white crowd of women, you know, looking like angels, looking like, uh, you know, like goddesses yes. actually. Mm -hmm. But then some people are also saying, what kind of God was she talking about? Some people are very, very deep and spiritual. Oh, like, sorry, like big G or small G. I'm wow, I'm stressed. <laughs> but I think that. I think the point, Sha, was, like it was a more poetic, like yeah. a deeper thing, which yeah. is just empowering women. Yeah. Mm. All right, our number three song on the list, Abek. It's not even today. All right, number three on the list, Girl on Fire by Alicia Keys. This girl is on fire. fire. Wow, fire is not present today. Mm. This song's lyrics center on toasting <clears> to <throat> the achievements of women everywhere, particularly with the hook, she's just a girl and she is on fire, which is delivered with a calm yet commanding cry. Leave it to Alicia Keys to give you an instant confidence boost when you're, you know, when you want to get fired up and this song does just that. Check it out. Are you on fire? Yes. Where is this? Fire, we're not born in my so. eyes. Hell fire. <laughs> Oh, I have fire inside my eyes. Check it out. Um, so absolute jam and <laughs> like um, like I rightly said, I think yeah, definitely Alicia has that vibe where it's like calm but mm. it's still very That's like yeah, loud she and has sharp. Been keeping up that tempo for years. I don't even know and you, as you said, she has remained relevant mm -hmm. all throughout and I love the fact that she has been pushing the whole no makeup, makeup. no you know, flamboyant dressing kind of thing. I, I absolutely love Alicia Keys. Very woman empowered woman. I was like <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> all right. Moving on to the fourth song on our list, Scars to Your Beautiful by Alicia Cara. Yeah. Now, this song promotes a message of self-acceptance that challenges the beauty standards that we see every day. Now, she wrote this song to empower women who have struggled and still do with their body image. The song also encourages you to love yourself no matter what and not change for the good of others. Just the way a very are. relevant song. Your scars to your beautiful. beautiful. Stars and we're beautiful. Ah, this baby has added to the Braxton to this song but yeah that's the <laughs> remix right there by Faladeli <laughs> but I'm it's still a jam <laughs> and I actually absolutely love you know as you said we was talking about body image and she actually showed people who had not the perfect identity of beauty but you know what you're beautiful regardless of your scars I think it's a very beautiful song and, for women and it kind of could empower yeah. them as well actually there's yeah. a guy in the video with the mm -hmm. ear and yeah and uh, yeah I think it's something that even men Everybody can relate, can relate for sure, for sure. Really with. Mm -hmm. all right wrapping up our daily top five number five firework by Katy Perry yes this song encourages self-empowerment for anyone who struggles with low self-esteem as noted by the title of the song it obviously motivates and helps people see themselves as they really are words and phrases like even brighter than the moon 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 and you're gonna leave him all in awe or, or convey empowerment Yes, Katy Perry right there with fireworks and definitely this came from one of those heartbreak. Go away, okay. This song was inspired from one of those I, heartbreaks. I, Katy Perry and Taylor Swift it. are those people that mm, 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 after mm, mm. each heartbreak, the album that they drop afterwards, killer. Yeah, so maybe if men were better, they won't have to be having happy. So you, we should not have stars like Katy Perry and Taylor Swift again. <laughs> um, so why don't we try to sort out that issue over there? <laughs> Guys, we are done with the first half of the show. I really, really enjoyed the Daily Top Yes. Topic. Might be my favorite for the week. And wow. still early in the week. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, sure. All right, guys, we're only a few minutes away from one, which means we have come to the end of the first half of the show. Aww. Well, in just a few minutes, there'll be more of the show to enjoy. So we'll see you at 1 p.m. Don't go anywhere, guys. Bye. Yes, sir. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the second half of the show. And right about now, it's time to chew it off, where one of us will rant about what's presently bugging him. No, I'm good. Ha, huh, instead. <laughs> Did you forget? Who has a problem? So I'm, I'm doing well. I'm actually good. This one is more like a generic rant. Um, and some people might come for me. I'm going to talk about feminism. Yeah. Hey, and um, how it shouldn't be double standard. And how, you know, a couple of days ago, a particular bank was being dragged on Twitter 
for a, a message they wrote on International Women's Day where they said women are the ones who are you know, not treating other women right. They had a bunch of things they said. Raising, uh, you're raising men, yeah, men who are who are Turkey, patriarchal yeah. and stuff like that. And just yesterday, I was having a conversation with my mom, and I was we we're just talking about you know, women who live on their own. And she's like, you know what? I support men, you know, who be, who live on their own, who have like apartments. But I think a woman should leave from you know her the father's house, house to you know her husband's house. And I'm like, why? That's what your mom was saying. Yeah, that's what my mom was saying. So we're having this back and forth conversation. I was like, you know what? You can't, I don't feel like women should be feminist when it suits them. Mm -hmm. I feel like if you want to do this feminist angle, then let's take it all around and let's be the people who apply this, you know, theory to ourselves. And that's just my rant for today. Okay. I just feel like um, if you're going to be a feminist, then also treat your other women with, uh, with respect. Okay. I stop asking questions like, oh, when I get married. Like, it's still a conversation starter. Even even though you want to be taken seriously. I, I really like this rant, Amanda. I really, really like it. It's very um, topical right now because a lot of people are talking about the feminism movement. It's getting louder and louder. And I also like the angle that you're coming from. Uh, we talked about this the other day about how um, when Tenny talked about, oh, I can't remember what, Tenny, what it was Tenny was talking about. That, um, guys, if guys should propose and we're saying equal, then, then women females should, be should also to propose be proposed. Yes. I think it's valid. Yes. And then, so she, um, so she said that and someone now commented about, I think someone called her fat. Yeah. Size. Yeah, whereas some other time that same person was saying leave Tenny alone and all that. So it's kind of <laughs> like, oh, so now it's no longer convenient because the Tenny that you were defending the other day about not being fat mm -hmm. you're now mm -hmm. coming back to call mm -hmm. her fat because she's not saying something that you like. And it's the same thing when people come and they're like, oh, the Chimamanda feminism, the Beyonce feminism. It's like, like, and I think it's these kind of kinds of people who are giving it a bad name. Who are giving the movement a bad name? Mm. I think at the core I feel of it, like it's, it's just, double standard. At the core of it, it's just about choice. And so when you start, like when you want to use, um, so uh, what's her name? Kiki Modi mm -hmm. was the one who kind of mm -hmm. brought up the whole bank thing and mm -hmm. made it more, <laughs> made it louder. And people were like, oh, there was another ad that surfaced, and you were laughing when they did it. When it was okay. men, yeah, it was being done too. But now because it's women, you want to kill us and you want to kill yourself. That you yeah. know. Be equal across board. And I, I mean, if you're going to take it, if you're going to dish it, take it. Yeah. As you said, maybe you should also go and start proposing to men and being the person that is paying for the bills and all of that. So do it with your chest, mm -hmm. not halfway. That's all I'm going to say. Amen. Yeah. Amen. All right. Now, OJ is quiet, so, yeah, OJ, so we're just going to move on. OJ doesn't want to get in trouble because <laughs> feminism is, is a dash All right. So in case you missed it, here's what we talked about in today's news. All right, guys. We started with this one, Harvey Weinstein wants mercy from the judge. Yeah. And then we told you that Coachella reportedly postponed till October. And of course, we talked about this one, John Boyega said to produce West and East African films, which some people do not agree Yes, with. I was going to say, which, you know, yeah, it's okay, it's okay. All right, guys, when we come back from this break, we'll let you in on the songs buzzing out there this week. Hit us up on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at TVC Connect with the hashtag East Fashion TVC. And let us know which songs you are feeling at the moment, okay? Gang, gang. We'll be back in a bit with the East Splash Top 10. Count Oh, oh yeah. Surprisingly, she be, she be. <laughs> Wow, did you any money or Miss Shimbishi? And Amanda what says she that? loves the song. Yes. What does that mean? I don't know. What does it mean? No, but I like the part where it says, favor follow me, blessings follow me. Church, yeah, he took it to church. Then I said, e e Ruku follow me or something like that. Uh -huh. And so I asked somebody what that was. And then I was now confused. confused. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to the show. It is now time for the East Splash Top 10 Yay! Countdown, baby. Yeah, let's get started already. At number 10 this week, slowly making its way, well, <laughs> quickly, really, making its way out of the countdown is Fireboy DML with Scatter. And um, I'm sure you guys remember our choir thing from last week and mm. how Thank God. there were so many likes and reposts. And, <laughs> and so I was like, ah, there hasn't Fireboy seen this thing? And he actually saw it on Twitter. I think he liked it or retweeted Aww. it. I can't remember. But yeah, I just, thought it was, <laughs> I just thought it was really interesting. It's the things that you don't think would go that far mm. that do. Like, we just did it as bands. And mm. the way Whenever it went happened, ladies and gentlemen, we're just joking. Yeah. yeah. That's not how we sing real life. Yeah. We sound better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, away from people who are lying about what they really sound like. At number 10 this week, Fireboy DML with Scatter. Check it out. Mm -hmm. The rhythm is cool, and you. Anyway, so, um, about that song, so someone was saying, Wow, I finally listened to Fireboy DML's album. Wow. And it's really nice. Well, all I want to know is One year why later. 
the producer keeps shouting, read the Makula Yo after every song. Like, it's very annoying. Did you guys mm. find it annoying? I when you no, to I think it's part of the vibe. Yeah. yeah. You give me one vibe. Like, but <laughs> I mean, I think she just didn't know what it was. Reading Makula yeah. Yo. Like, the, and I told her what it was, and I was like, oh, that is the pretty. She was like, I don't care. I don't want to hear it on every song. No, it was a vibe. Mm. <laughs> That's his own way of placing his stamp yeah. right there. I mean, it's you know. cotton, so I'll give it to him. <laughs> All right, you just checked out that one by Fireboy DML. Moving swiftly along to our number nine spot this week. It is from Obio himself. Yeah. David O with one milli doing absolutely well on YouTube and all streams and all platforms, really. 2.2 million views in two weeks. Damn. And you know, as OJ likes to say, David O does not rest too. Mm -hmm. Because three days ago, I'm still seeing a video on his Instagram page where he's actually with Kidominant in the studio saying new music loading, this one, something, something, and they're singing Shade. And I'm like, ah. And, well, this, and, and, the, and this is a video that is on tour, visiting um, various yes. states in the US, yes. from Canada, it yeah. moved to, and it's all by road. So it was one mm. tour bus. Now, because you know, David likes carrying people up yeah. and down. Yeah. So he's doing like proper tour, yeah, yeah, yeah. got another tour bus. So two buses for David O's tour all wow. across the US. It's, it's going to be quite, ti it's going yes. to be quite tiring though, because I think he did Canada as well. Yeah. And Why I mean, Canada he have to all the US this energy. Like so he's on tour yeah. and then and he's recording. still making new music. He's still pushing out the Good Time album. Yeah. I'm just like, wow, it's, that's I, overwhelming. Actually. I, I don't want him to move on yet. Though. Mm. I don't want him. I feel like project. he hasn't, yeah, I feel like he hasn't moved Make this project. I think so too. Enough. A lot of, there were a lot of songs that people liked on this album. I'm just really happy one million is finally out. Yeah, D and G and get to you. So I just want him to take his time and really, really milk it before he start pushing. There's no pressure sometimes. Mm -hmm. Take time on it, enjoy it, and then. Move David on. is doing it. So you're not looking forward to new music yet? Not yet. No, milk he's, is a good He's really album. been in our faces like in the last months. Mm. He's really, I mean, BMM, every, like he's really been there, and it's nice. It's nice. All right, in the meantime, we're going to enjoy this one by David Doe. It's called One Milli. Oh, Shay. I'm like, one milli, one milli, one dollar. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> so, um, you should not copy your mom. <laughs> So okay. before, before we move on, we were talking about Davido during the break, and I was saying I feel like um, people underestimate what Davido goes through. Because he seems like such a happy go lucky guy, and I don't think, like, I wonder what his struggles are like. Because the other day, Whiskey was trending, I think it was over the weekend, <laughs> for performing in Norway, and somehow that had nothing with, to do with Davido. Davido and they the put him in it, and they're like, ah, Whiskey is performing in Norway, which one has Davido done? Like, those kind of vibes. And I'm just yeah. like, what, what does he that have comparison, to do with I don't think it's yeah. ever going to end. Stop. And uh, sometimes I commend him when he doesn't respond, but usually he's the first person to respond, respond. to those things. Yeah. So, <laughs> I <sighs> mean, he, as you said, we don't know what he's going yeah. through because he always feels like he has to validate his, yeah. his stance in the music industry. But I mean, Davido has been pushing through it and he will continue to push through it. <laughs> yes, sir. Regardless. Yes, mm. from 130 BG artists to the other, yeah. brand new entry on the countdown at the number eight spot. It's one of the songs that has gone viral. I would yeah. say one of the biggest songs of 2020 from mm -hmm. January, February, March. Mm -hmm. Because you know the songs that you drop yep. and people just do viral um, yeah. cover for the Most song. Most viral songs yes. of 2020. So far, of 2020 so far. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about Mayaku. And this song is titled Gang. Set our... Gang, gang, gang. gang. Eh? Like eh? Set our... Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> We are back, guys, from the break, yes, and we are swiftly moving on on the <laughs> countdown. Why well, I'm laughing is because during the break, we were talking about road rage, and the other day, Which I you have. almost got in. Yes, I, I am a recovering road rage um, mm. addict, and um, <laughs> you. the other day, I, I had like a, an incident. Someone hit my car, and I just came out, and I kind of eyed the person. I'm and like, we saw you. You want to kiss me? And I thought like no one saw that. Apparently Amanda did and she didn't tell me all the time, <laughs> all the while. She just mentioned it now. And <sighs> sorry, don't worry. Are you getting better? I, I feel like Loki. Okay, because, because of the good day, what you would have she done. She actually entered her car afterwards. No, what mm. Faladay would have done mm. then is just carry one wheel spanner or something. Ah, like. ah, <laughs> well, Sorry. What do you mean by that? But now it's just conversation. Ah, do you want to kiss my car? Ooh. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> no worry, we'll, okay. we'll keep you in prayers, okay? And number seven <laughs> this week, um, we have Rema featuring Russia, and the song is titled Bima. Wow, you guys, stop. <laughs> okay, anyway, yeah, Rama and Russian, Bima. So um, this song is already at about 1.8 million views on YouTube, which mm. I think is fantastic in just a couple of weeks. But also, um, we can't, people were talking about Rama online and someone said, oh, uh, Rama's songs are infectious, even though he says rubbish a lot of times. Mm -hmm. Do you guys agree? I, dis I totally disagree. You disagree with which part? It's a vibe, so I love no, the no, vibe. No. So in, I have actually it's not listened, rubbish. I've listened to this general, song. Do you feel that Rama's songs are infectious, even though he says rubbish sometimes? 
It's not yeah, I feel like they're infectious. infectious. Like you're, you're giving us two different things to answer. Is it infectious? <laughs> yes. Is it rubbish? Sometimes. Some. You know, it's beautiful rubbish. That's the way I'll put it. Wow. Do you understand? Beautiful a beautiful it's just, mess. It's, it's a beautiful mess. Exactly. You know when you have a messy bun or like messy hairs? That's it. That's so, the kind so of thing. So it's, mm. it's for Nigerians. Um, people give you serious songs. And you don't even buy the albums. You don't listen to those songs. Mm. But when people like this just drop, bang, 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 ah, then they will keep doing more of that. <laughs> so, so, so someone also said he's, they feel that he's a mix of Bonaboy and Whiskey. Do you agree? Yeah. No. Yeah, okay. Bonaboy Boy yeah. hair. Okay. Whiskey. Music sound. Okay, so why would you ponder on that? Because <laughs> maybe the hair. Because Bonaboy Boy what? <laughs> you caught them off guard. All right, guys. Let's go check out our number seven song. Yes. Run up between Russian with a B-man. Let us know if you think he's singing rubbish. I like bad boys like you. Like bad you. boys? Good. Stop yeah. now. Why do you have to yeah. do that to me? See, for that day, I brought my phone out. Okay. Yeah, because you're always saying, is he singing rubbish? Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to read out the lyrics to this song for you. You answered the question that was asked on Yeah, me. the question is asked that, is he singing rubbish or maybe he doesn't have words? Now, this is the thing you're hearing. Africa, girl, you come and hop in my bima. Mm -hmm. You know me, I want to take you for dinner. Mm -hmm. You know me, I get the money, passion up here. From my area, they call me Godzilla. So if you go check out the lyrics, he's actually saying something. Yeah. So he's not saying rubbish. Oh, he's just always delivering it and, yes. singing, and singing from the nose. <laughs> so that's his own vibe. That's his own that's thing. That's why I said it's a vibe. Okay. Yeah. Well, he's Rema. Amanda is Remy because what you just said. <laughs> Remy, <about>. Rema. <laughs> Hi. But I mean, that's I not my it. daytime job. I Remy, speak. Remy, but, Rema. Wow. But, but, but he did. Yeah, he did use lyrics in this song. I he did. did. All right. For the most part. <laughs> Why are you people talking about so, Dumebu? We have won that Rema argument. Yeah. yeah. We had two people yesterday for Dumebu. Okay. We're just going to move swiftly along to the number six spot this week, which is dropping one spot from last week, credited to Starboy, featuring Black Jersey and Whiskey with Blow. <laughs> I mean, not doing so well on YouTube, has 1.8 million views in two months, which is like unusual for a Whiskey brand. Mm -hmm. But Starboy however, song. Well, Starboy, Whiskey, same thing, no, no difference. Okay, move. But, Amanda, go on. however, Whiskey, you know, and it was even OJ that told me about this, Sash check uh, Whiskey's Twitter page, and Whiskey has, I think he has a change of heart. He has been promoting people's music. Uh, the other day, he had Techno's uh, Music Pana, yeah. he had the YouTube link, that was his tweet. Then he had for um, the other guy, um, uh, Dakor. Dakor. He, he did had DJ Spino. Did DJ Spino. The, and because it was featured. Three, three weeks ago, he said something about Thames. Terms trended, yeah. so I'm like, is he is he empowering, you know, I people? I just want you to know that Whiskey yeah. is cruise on Twitter. Like <laughs> Whiskey plays with us on Twitter. Whiskey for a while, for weeks, he had himself and Naramali as his avatar yeah. on Twitter, and we're like, what is this? <laughs> this was like earlier, I think. Mm. It was After the show. Yeah, when Naramali was really trending. So I think he's just Twitter is where like. He can really just express himself. And, he's all, and he also he, tweeted, God is good. So maybe he's, you know, inspiring people out there. He's a motivational speaker. You know what? In the meantime, <laughs> let's check it out. Starboy featuring Black Jersey and Whiskey with Blow. I don't even know how to sing the song again. This is another vibe, ladies <clears> and gentlemen. <throat> um, Starboy, Black Jersey, Whiskey, titled Blow. Yes, our number five song, ladies and gentlemen, uh, was actually number six last week, so it's jumping one spot. And this one is from Yemi Alade and Angeli Kijo with Shekere with over 4 million views on YouTube. No we all know Yemi Alade Such a short time. Yeah, Yemi Alade on YouTube views, mm. small thing. <laughs> so Yemi Alade is prophesying right now. Mm. Um, she puts up a post and she says, Grammy 2021. And she's currently Ooh. in the United States um, working on new album. Mm -hmm. So we guess she'll move on because we're um, saying it we on the show. We spoke about this yeah, the other day. Is it from this Woman of Steel album? Mm -hmm. But we said it's an album and Shekere is just like a single from yeah, the album. Yeah. So I she's working on an album right now. So hopefully... 2021, Yemi Alade, we get nominated for the Grammys. Again, I think Yemi Alade is one artist that we do not appreciate enough mm -hmm. in Nigeria, but she has the African crowd, mm -hmm. you know, really tight. Locked down. Locked down, that's the word, locked down. So I won't be surprised if that comes to pass, if in 2021 we are talking about it in entertainment news. So yeah, she, yeah, sub she, yeah, she submitted Woman of Steel, yeah. but it didn't make the cut. Mm. So hopefully. I think she's showing that one. she can't be kept down. Like, whether or not it's Let's a go here there. in Nigeria, I have mm -hmm. my markets and I'm mm -hmm. good. So it's fantastic, and I'm looking forward to seeing how the album 
goes, uh, or does rather. All right, talking about Yemi Alade, number five, Yemi Alade, Anjali Kijo, Shekere. Let's go. Welcome back, baby. Yes, All right, sir. guys, we are still doing the East Pass Top 10 countdown. Yes, for this week, um, we're giving you our lineup of songs, and we've just checked our number five, one before the break, and that was Yeme Aladi and Anjali Kijo with Shekere. Now, let's talk about our number four song, and this week at number four, we have Kiss Daniel with Jaho Jaho. And um, Kiss Daniel, of course, everywhere, everything is KOL, hashtag KOL, King of Love. Mm. Uh, he's really still really pushing the mixtape. And um, so I saw a comment about Kiss Daniel. Someone said, oh, Kiss Daniel is a really underrated artist. Do you guys think he's underrated? No. Yeah, like, I just, I'm like, do we not know what underrated is? <laughs> or um, is Kiss is there. Underrated is not the word, but like, you I know. Don't joke with him. You know. Don't take him serious. When you think of like, Top three Nigerian artist. Does he come to mind? No. Mm. Maybe that's what she's but saying. But we have top five. We have top ten. Yeah, like yeah. And that's what maybe that's what she's saying. Maybe he, for her, he should be among those people. Uh, so maybe that's her own sense of underrated. But I'm underrated, like underrated. No, no, people sure. do rate Kiss Daniel. I mean, I don't know. I don't should know. he be rated more? I mean, I don't think the label drama. I I think maybe that period. Yeah, that yeah. Period, yeah. yeah maybe that didn't help. But before mm. that, even I mean, because Daniel from New doing Era. Moju to when exactly. you look at his and yeah. how he has gone far, I don't agree with that comment. But hey, what do I know? Anyway, at number four this week, yes, because Daniel Jaho, check it out. Hey, Jaho Jaho. Hey, Jaho Jaho. Bring me today, bring me today. You know what? Before we spoil the song, we're just going to move ahead. But you just checked it. out that one by Kiz Daniel with Jaho. Moving swiftly along to our number three spot this week is credited to Techno with Suru. And it's moving one spot down from last week. So it's going down the, you know, the East Blash Top 10 countdown. And we're still expecting uh, Techno's Walter happening in May, June, July. He's still promoting that. Are you, are you guys excited? Will you do like Davido? We uh, ah. just hope, I hope Corona doesn't mess with his ah, plans though. That's a very valid, a lot of things are being valid canceled, one. So I hope not, but it'll be good because it'll be good for him. It's like he's kind of come back here, so it'll be nice. Yeah, completely oh. agree. All right, let's check it out. Techno with Suru. Yeah. Mm. Yes, sir. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Techno right there, number three with Suru. Hmm. Our number two song was actually number three last week, so he's jumping one spot Ooh. to take the number two spot. And of course, this one is from Adekule Gold, featuring Kiss Daniel making his second appearance on the countdown. And this one is tied to Jury. So Kiss Daniel did the usual that every celebrity does mm. because he wants to drop King of Love album. Um, he wiped out all the pictures on his Instagram page oh. again. I think he left Why does like he keep doing that? Clips. Yeah, so that and... It's not like conversation starter. Maybe, because it's starting working. starting afresh, yeah. <laughs> new project. Yeah, so the Everything I do right cool. about now is all about King of Love and he got um, tattoo on his body, um, Vado, yeah. uh, with King of Love. No, I don't think that thing is starting afresh because when he now drops it, he will now uh, archive all the pictures yeah, yeah. and put it back. I mean, I've seen it, I've seen mm. it done abroad. I'm trying to remember a couple of artists who've done it, but it's a thing that is done kind of to make the attention just mm. on King of Love. So right is it now. like I, a PR thing? I think it's a strategy for that. Yeah, mm. for sure. Interesting. For sure. Well, anyways, just drop the album. Whether you delete your Instagram page or delete whatever. And I wonder why he's doing an EP though, not a full Yeah, album. not a full project. That's true. <laughs> the Nigerian Factor mm. EP. Let's give them EP. <laughs> no, but we have already like, you know, mm. past that. So I don't know why. So ladies and gentlemen, Adekule <laughs> Gold featuring Kiss Daniel. This one is titled Jerry, number two. Let's go. You know, I absolutely love the way you can't really tell where Kiss Daniel stops singing and Adekule Gold. It's just yes. that synergy, that smooth transition. Amanda, Beautiful. You're a genius for that statement. <laughs> it is very correct. And a couple of mm. other people have actually made that point. It's and I think mind. that's when like music chemistry really, really works. Yeah. Like, where your own starts, mine ends, where your own... Mm -hmm. can, yeah, it just works nicely. I agree. Okay. What did you want to it's say? It's Amanda. Anything is done, we're good. Oh, it's true. <laughs> okay. Well, welcome back to the show, guys. Yeah. And, well, sorry that we're welcoming you because we're soon good. <laughs> we but, gotta yeah, go. <laughs> it's time to tell you which song is at number one this week. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen. Cheers. For another week. True. <laughs> Let them know. Hey. The song that East, East Flash Choir performed to last week. Uh, hmm. Do not. Do it again. <laughs> do not remind them. <laughs> and we will never do it again. Anyway, guys, at number one this week, we have Fireboy DML again with Vibration. Yeah. Baby. Yeah. Absolutely. 
Yes. Yes. Absolute jam. All right, guys, don't forget that we are taking your music video requests in the form of selfies. Now, do a selfie video telling us which videos you like to watch on the show. Tag at TVC Connect on your video with the hashtag eSplash on TVC. I might just get your song played this Friday. We'll leave you with a number one song for another week in a row. Five Boy DML Vibration from myself, OJ, and Faladele. We're telling you peace, love, and blessings. Mwah! Hey! hey. 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 hey.